the Aswang of Staten Island. The Aswang was a creature of myth and legend. She was a vampire who flies through the night in search of prey. She was said to be a beautiful woman with long black hair and piercing dark eyes. But her beauty was only skin deep. Underneath, she was a monster. The Aswang lived in the Philippines, where she had terrorized the countryside for centuries. But one day, she decided to leave her home and start a new life in the United States. She thought that she would be safe from her enemies in America. But she was wrong. The Aswang arrived in Staten Island and quickly found a new hunting ground. She preyed on unsuspecting victims, draining their blood and leaving them for dead. The police were baffled by the string of murders. Each and every body that they found looks like it had been preyed upon by a vicious animal. They had no idea what was happening. One night, a young woman named Maria was walking home from work when she was attacked by the man in angle. The Aswang dragged Maria into an alleyway and began to feed on her blood. Maria screamed for help, but no one could hear her. Just when it seemed like all hope was lost, a man appeared out of nowhere and attacked the Aswang. The man was a Filipino-American martial artist named Mark. He had heard about the Aswang attacks and had been training for weeks in preparation for a fight. The Aswan was surprised by Mark's attack and was quickly defeated. Mark saved Maria's life, but the Aswan escaped. The Aswan was now on the run. She knew that Mark would be coming after her, and she was afraid. She fled Staten Island and headed for the desert. She thought that she would be safe in the vast emptiness of the desert. But Mark was determined to find the Aswan. He tracked her down to a small town in the middle of the desert. The Aswan was cornered. She had nowhere to run. Mark and the Aswang fought a long and bloody battle. In the end, Mark was victorious. He killed the Aswang and avenged the lives of her victims. The Aswang was gone, but her story would live on. She would be a reminder that evil exists in the world and that it must be fought.